we divide abdomen into four quadrant right upper quadrant left upper quadrant right lower quadrant left lower quadrant in further division we have right upper quadrant epigastric region left upper quadrant right lumbar or right flank umbilical region left lumbar or left flank right iliac region hypogastrium or suprapubic left iliac region or left lower quadrant now in acute abdomen we will talk about some differential diagnosis according to the location of pain if a person with epigastric pain then our diagnosis can be acute coronary syndrome in acute coronary syndrome blood flow to heart is limited second gastroesophageal reflux disease gastritis also uh, peptic ulcer disease uh, is peptic ulcer disease is also uh, one of the differential of epigastric pain gastroparesis in which normal uh, muscle movement of stomach is disturbed now the sixth is pancreatitis its inflammation of pancreas now if a person with left upper quadrant pain then splenic infarct splenic abscess splenic rupture subdiaphragmatic abscess left lower lobe pneumonia is one of the differential so in left upper quadrant uh, we have uh, these differential diagnosis according to the location of pain in further uh, we have right flank left flank periumbilical so in right flank and left flank uh, we have nephrolithiasis which is kidney stone uh, also we have pyelonephritis which is severe inflammation of kidney and next one is perinephric abscess is uh, around the kidney we have abscess formation next is periumbilical in periumbilical uh, gastroenteritis in which patient feel diarrhea vomiting nausea next is uh, small bowel obstruction it's also one of the differential next is mesenteric ischemia and ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm triple a it's also one of the differential diagnosis of periumbilical pain if pain is in suprapubic region then our diagnosis is cystitis which is unitech infection also uh, pelvic inflammatory disease which is also known as pid and uh, the next one is uh, ectopic pregnancy implantation of egg is outside of the womb now in uh, right lower quadrant and uh, left lower quadrant in right lower quadrant we have appendicitis and uh, in left lower quadrant we have diverticulitis we also have diverticulitis in right lower quadrant but less so now uh, for common diagnosis right and left we have ovarian and testicular torsion ruptured ovarian cyst tubo ovarian abscess next one is ectopic uh, pregnancy mm, also uh, in tubo ovarian abscess we have pus formed during infection in fallopian tube and ovary so ovarian and testicular torsion ruptured ovarian cyst tubo ovarian abscess and ectopic pregnancy we have ectopic pregnancy in suprapubic region also now if pain is in right upper quadrant then we divide this location into three first liver second biliary colic third others in liver uh, we divide liver into two infectious and non infectious in infectious we have acute viral hepatitis and uh, liver abscess uh, next one is non infectious we have uh, acute non infectious hepatitis which include alcohol and medications 
also belly colic we divide it into infectious and non infectious in uh, infectious we have acute cholecystitis acute cholangitis which include uh, common bile duct also known as ascending cholangitis uh, we have non infectious in non infectious we have gallstones also known as biliary colic and colido cholelithiasis so in infectious we have uh, acute cholecystitis acute cholangitis non infectious we have gallstones and colido cholelithiasis gallstones also known as biliary colic now in others we have right lower lobe pneumonia also uh, subdiaphragmatic abscess